Hi. Uh, I'm doing a. I'm sorry. It's so late. It's like four o'clock. Probably like four o'clock in the morning right now. Um. I've been thinking about doing a post-op video, uh, because it's over a month now. I know I said I was going to do it on my month, uh, but I kind of lost track, and just, I haven't been getting to it, so, um, it's freezing in here. Uh, so today is, I don't know, like the 12th, I guess, so that would make me a month and two days post-op. Um, because I had my surgery on August 10th, so, um, uh, they're doing good. I mean, my bandages are now gone, uh, everything seems to be good. I, um, uh, I kind of had some things that I kind of wanted to go over. Um, I had my, um, I had a doctor's appointment last week. Um, I had a post-op massage scheduled. And I didn't really realize what a post-op massage was. Uh, apparently I thought it was just some kind of relaxation massage or something, but it was not. It was uh, one of the most painful things I've been through in my life. Uh, they pretty much massage your boobs. Um, it really hurt because they just like, you know, grab and pull and like right up here and it's painful. I, uh, needless to say, I was twitching all over the bed, or the whatever you call it. I was screaming, and I mean, but afterwards, I mean, my muscles were a lot looser. And, you know, I can notice. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Um, sorry if I showed nipple, <laughs> but they've dropped significantly uh, a little bit. Um, more than they, oh, there's an episode. They've dropped more than, uh, than they were the last time, I'm sure, that you guys have seen them. Um, so, uh, so, there's a couple things I kind of want to talk about. Um, I, uh, I don't know where to start. Um, squaring. Uh, your, I guess when your boobs start to drop, um, they don't, they're not completely round. Um, depending on how the muscles are, um, most of the time your dominant hand, like, I'm right-handed, um, the muscle's really t a lot tighter under this one than, hold on, we have a visitor. I have a little kitten in here, so he's sticking his hand under the door. <coughs> Um, it's usually tighter under your dominant hand. Uh, say hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, my boobs were kind of looking a little funny there for a minute. Like right here, um, was starting to square a little bit. Like, it'd go like this and kind of be round underneath. And then this one was kind of weird underneath. And I thought maybe it was the way that I was laying in bed. Um, but I don't think it is. I mean, I lay on here, and, you know, I lay on my side, so I mean, my boobs are kind of squished together when I'm sleeping. Um, they're actually loosening up a lot more now, so, I mean, before when I, you know, would lift my arm up, um, there was actually, uh, I thought it was a muscle that would pull right here and go all the way down here, and you could feel it, you could see it, it was like a line. But it's actually a vein. My doctor says it's a vein. Um, and apparently during surgery or something got the blood, uh, it got cut or, or, uh, whatever, it blocked, it blocked the vein or something like a blocked artery, not artery, <laughs> that would be intense. But, uh, it's starting to go away now, but when I lift up like this, um, it'll pull and you can see it and, uh, it's pretty uncomfortable doing massages under here. But I don't have pain anymore. I mean, sometimes it's it's uncomfortable to do my massages like underneath. <clears throat> um, my nipples were looking kind of. Uh, I mean, they don't look the same as they did. I mean, I have the scar, obviously. Um, can't really show you that, but 
Um, they're actually healing up really nice. Since I got my bandages off, they kind of have room to breathe. So, uh, this one's doing amazing. Um, it's weird, I'm only a month post-op, and you can barely see the scar. I mean, I guess I'm doing a good job taking care of it, but... Uh, when I first got the bandages taken off, my, you know, the bottom of my nipple was a little discolored, kind of like a scar looky, but the color's coming back to it. Uh, the sensations aren't as bad as they were, because they were really, really sensitive, but I'm still having a problem with my nipples poking out. They're kind of pointy, no matter what I wear, really. Uh, I feel like I should wear band-aids or something over them, because they're pointy. But at this time, like, you know, the implants are still up here, and skin stretches, so they're going to poke out, I guess, until they drop and settle, and, you know. Um, well, I don't really know how to talk about mammograms when it comes to this, because I've never had a mammogram in my life. Uh, so I'm not really how that works. Um, I don't know. For those of you who haven't seen my, my YouTube videos, um, I had a breast augmentation on August 10th, 2012. Um, I originally was going to get um, a crease incision, um, 300 cc's, and I, I changed my mind on last minute, and I got a nipple or areola incision, uh, and I got 275 cc's instead which I'm not sure if I was a double A or an A before I got the surgery, but I am now a 34B, which is mostly what I fit in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a C. Um, the bra that I, the sports bra that I came home in, uh, is a 32C. <coughs> but for the most part, I fit in 34B. Uh, most of the time I don't wear a bra. Uh, I kind of, I have a sports bra that I wear to work most of the time, but as you can see, like, right now, I'm not wearing a bra. I don't sleep with a bra on. Um, most of the time I wear dresses like this. Uh, I have another one that's kind of, uh, strapless. I don't, I don't wear, um, I don't wear a bra with that either. I mean, they look a little right now. You can see my nipples, but, um, yeah, well, kind of do this the best I can. Y'all are probably going to see some, some stuff here. These are my boobs. They look a lot different without my clothes on than they do with my clothes on. They look kind of crazy big right now. Well, they look a little weird, probably, to you, but that's them. Um, they're, they're loosening up a lot more now. Sorry, put myself up here. So yeah, uh, yeah, my nipples got hard over that. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. Uh, it's it's kind of weird because when I wear a bra like underneath, um, I can't really feel the bra. And I just bought a new one, uh, so I don't know if it fits or not because I keep having to pull it down. So I don't like wearing bras. I just don't, and I try to avoid it. And I don't think it's gonna change the effects of them dropping or looking different. Um, a lot of different doctors use different methods. Some doctors say you wear sports bras. Some doctors say don't wear bras at all. Some doctors say wear a bra for a week and then stop wearing a bra. Some doctors, uh, like my doctor just recently told me I could start wearing underwire, which I don't want to do because I hate underwire. Um, although I do own two bras that have underwire, um, I really don't prefer to wear them. Very uncomfortable. Meow! <laughs> My little friend here doesn't wear a bra either. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, being very nervous before having the surgery, but I'm very, very, very proud, and I'm happy that I did it. And I know there's going to be a time in my life, again, where I'm either going to have to have the surgery redone, or, you know, I might get bigger after I have more kids, and um, choose to go bigger, which is most likely to happen. 
but you know they only have a 10 year warranty um, they're not lifetime warranty products I mean I do get really freaked out when you know I get my massages done and stuff like that and they squeeze them and I'm like you're gonna pop it but I have gel implants um, so I don't really think they're gonna go anywhere uh, but I would definitely do it again uh, I have absolutely no regrets about it like I, I kind of had doubts that maybe I was gonna be disappointed or sad and and then you know just like they say in the beginning right when I, after you have surgery like I was all doped up for a week on Percocets and <laughs> I have a kitten attacking my feet right now I'm sorry uh, you know there was a I think the third day where I got really upset when I put clothes on I was like they're small and I should have gone bigger and then I got depressed with myself like what have I done to my body and I was crying and all that stuff goes away you know like there's a healing process and it takes time like I'm still healing and in six months I'll probably still be healing and like I have scar tissue right under my nipple that is you can feel it's like it's like a rock almost it goes around I mean I have to massage that and everything and I have to massage every night I have to massage in the shower like there's maintenance you have to take care of them and this is why I paid six grand to get them done right um this guy is killing me right now uh but I definitely don't have any regrets so any girls out there that are looking into getting you know a breast augmentation definitely go for it like there have been so many issues with me getting this done I mean I lost my boyfriend over it or well he left me over it and you know I get a lot of questions like why did you want to do that or you know why can't you just be confident the way you were but it just it doesn't work like that there's always something about somebody that they don't like about themselves and that's why we have options in life to do those kind of things so I really don't think that people should be so judgmental um, but obviously if someone doesn't support you and the decisions you make then they weren't meant to be in your life because um, when you go through something like this like I was going into this surgery thing thinking that my boyfriend at the time was going to be by my side and be supportive and you know I lost him real quick and he wasn't there for me and uh, you know I guess it, it happened for a reason and I'm actually a lot happier that he wasn't there because I was a hot mess for a week and I didn't really anybody to see me you know I was pretty much walking around half naked and I didn't even give a shit and, but uh, I still hear shit about it and half the guys at work love it and I like to poke them but uh they're cool they're cool and uh if you want to get them done get them done whatever makes you happy go for it don't let anybody tell you not to because it's not it's not somebody else's skin that you know they they don't live in your skin you live in your skin and if you're not happy in it change it and that's what i did and you know the people who are in my life that that care about me and support me were there for me and no questions asked so I'm glad to have the supportive people in my life, and I'm glad that the unsupportive people aren't in my life anymore. Well, it's getting late, and uh, I just wanted to go over some of that stuff and post you guys up on what's going on. And I think this video is getting a little long now, so I should probably save my piece and get out of here. And if you guys have had a sneak peek at my nipples for the night. <laughs> Say bye to my little buddy. He's a cute guy. He's real cute. See, I love you. Bye-bye.